No, that's another guy. Hi, I'm Peter Griffin. And at Peter Griffin Cadillac, we believe in three things. Fair dealing, family, and friendship. I've lived in Quahog my whole life. I love it here. And you're going to love a Peter Griffin Cadillac. Scumbag. I still don't understand why you got to go all the way to Hollywood. Because I know Tom Tucker could be a great actor. And I'm going to help him make it happen. You see... Everybody needs just one person to believe in their dreams so they can spread their wings and fly. Dad, can I have money for dance classes? Sit down, you dumpy bread loaf. I'd pay to see you not dance. When will you be back? I don't know. But I'll be sure to be back before Chris's big dance class recital. I believe in that boy. I don't want to dance. You'll dance. Boy, I, I don't know, Peter. Being back out here makes me kind of nervous. Maybe, maybe this was all a mistake. Don't be silly, Tom. You're an actor, and this is where you belong. Now, let's take some of this complimentary luggage and get going. Well, so how do we do this? You do nothing. You just sit back and let your agent knock on every door in Hollywood till he gets you an acting job. And that starts right now. Yes? C can I help you? No, but I can help you. You need to hire this man. Oh, um, okay. Well, do you have any experience handling bags? Aha, I see. Typical casting couch stuff. All right, kid. You want to make it in showbiz, or don't you? I thought the airport was Hollywood. Hey, Mom. I want you to meet my new girlfriend. New girlfriend? Yeah. You remember that girl Lindsay I told you about? Well, I asked her out, and now we are dating. Lindsay, this is my mom, my little brother Stewie, and my dog Brian. Hey. Oh my god. My goodness, look at you. Do you even realize who you look like? Cameron Diaz, that's who. You are gorgeous. Well, she's awful pretty, I know that, Mom. Very pretty. Stunning. Are you kidding me? Are they not seeing this? I know, it's kind of creepy. It's almost like he's dating Lois. Yeah, looks like somebody's getting a little Oedipussy. Can we say that? Just did. All right, Tom, this is totally going to work. All the biggest Hollywood players eat here, and we just got to make them think we're one of them. That's why I got these old Hollywood Jew glasses. Waiter! Oh, waiter! Yes, sir. Are you gentlemen ready to order? Yes, I will have the big and fancy, and my client here will have a bottle of your best steak. Right away, sir. Peter, I'm not sure what any of this has to do with getting me acting jobs. Tom, who's the agent here? You are. And who's the actor? Well, I am. Wait, which one am I again? The agent. And who's paying for dinner? I assumed you were. Ah, then we best load our pockets with bread and get the hell out of here. We have to go. Not expensive enough. Excuse me, I couldn't help but notice your glasses, your poor table manners, and your huge sense of entitlement. Are you an agent? I am. You've got ten seconds to dazzle me. Go! Well, I'm the casting director for NCIS, and we need an actor for a small role that shoots tomorrow. This is your man. That's great. He's got just the look we're after. Show up here at 10 a.m. tomorrow. How about that, huh, Tom? You're back in the business. Wow, Peter, I can't believe it. Hey, don't be so surprised. I've been pounding the pavement for you, buddy. I even gave out all my business cards. Call me! 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 Ah, show business. Oh, hi, you two. You know, Lindsay, I just want to say how nice it is to have such a beautiful young woman in our home. Oh, a baby. I almost had one of you twice. Oh, <laughs> who didn't, right? So, what are you two up to tonight? Well, we really haven't decided yet. Eh, I'll think of something while I'm taking a chick dump in your parents' bathroom. And I will hold your purse. Good for Chris, huh? He picked a peach, didn't he? Lois, don't you think maybe part of the reason you like Lindsay could be because she looks so much like you? What? What are you talking about? Come on, she's clearly an awful person. And, and I think it's possible that your vanity has made you a little blind to that. Oh, I see what's going on here. You're jealous. Chris has a wonderful young woman in his life, and you've got nothing. She's kind of right, Brian. All you've got is a worn-out rope toy and that squirrel who comes by once a day to taunt you. Hey! Hey, get out of here! This is our yard. You don't belong there. Don't you touch anything. I told you all this yesterday. 